in the weasel. Walk in the weasel. It is a beautiful day in sunny Iowa. Sunny Iowa, look, I'm wearing my flip flops. My pasty white Canadian feet. Absolutely. My hair sticking up. Good, I like it that way. I just woke up. What? You know, I came over here to visit the grass. It's Diesel's favorite place. I like this one. I like that one. That one's mine. That one's mine. Oh, I like this one too. Good boy, Diesel. Oh, that was a great night. And the best part about tonight is I got four videos uploaded. Oh, remember the YouTube apocalypse? Uh, a couple days ago, uh, no one could upload. <laughs> it's, it's funny. Uh, the Knife Nulls called it uh, uh, YouTube Apocalypse 2014. The hashtag. <laughs> it was terrible. Nobody could upload. Oh, but I finally got myself all caught up. And now we're going home. Getting ready for a vlogger fair. Look at this grass, Diesel. This grass is tall. This grass is taller than me, man. I don't want to go in there. I got flip-flops, man. I'm not that adventurous. Who knows what's in there? Whoa, what? Isn't this just beautiful? Isn't it? We're at the Pilot. Pilot Travel Centers in, oh, where are we? Sioux City. Iowa, so we're right at the border of uh, South Dakota. So in like 10 minutes of driving, we'll be in South Dakota. And man, it's been just two days in a row of just absolute perfect weather. You know what, actually it's been a really good summer, if you come to think of it. This summer has been awesome, at least for me. You know how bad winter was for me? You know, like those snowstorms kept following me around everywhere. I was beginning to think mother nature just hated me. No, I was just Mother Nature's evil winter sister. She doesn't like me. But Mother Nature herself actually likes me. She has a little thing for me. She likes to send me nice weather. Hey, Diesel. Maybe it's just you. That's oh, probably just Diesel. She just likes Diesel. Hey, guys, let's get ourselves ready and let's uh, get on the road here and fix my hair. I just want to share something with you guys. One of my pet peeves. I know I share a lot of my pet peeves with you guys. See where the parking line ends here, and this guy parked nicely, uh, pretty much in his spot. This is me here, got lots of room back here. Don't do that. That's really annoying. See how far over the line he is? It really makes that space smaller. I'm not complaining right now because it's during the day, it doesn't really matter, but I'm talking about when you park for the night. Uh, you guys gotta try to leave space for people to park behind you too. Don't be a, a parking spot hog and take two. Frustrates me at the end of my day. Oh, this weather is just great though. Here we are. Here we are, Diesel. Oh man, you ready to go on the truck lane? You ready to go on the truck lane? Come on, get in there, man. Good boy. Yeah, so my point to that last clip was at the end of your day, just take the time to walk to the back of your trailer after you pull the brakes and you're ready to go to sleep. Uh, before you settle in or anything as soon as you park go, walk to the back of your trailer Just make sure that you're uh, you're in your spot and you're not hanging over into the spot behind you uh, That's a really nice courtesy to do for drivers who come in late at night and who are very tired And who just need to park their truck because they're they legally can't drive any further and uh, It's really frustrating for them when they can't find a parking spot because a couple of people have taken up two because they're hanging into the one behind them, right? That's what happened to me yesterday. That's why I was a little further away uh, from the line. Uh, a guy was hanging over the back and there was three spots here that we couldn't park in because people were taking up two, but just a reminder, just go and make sure you're just taking up one spot. And aim it right, how about that? Yeah. Let's hit the road, Diesel. Let's get this show on the road. Quite literally, actually. <laughs> Funny. What? So we're leaving uh, the pilot in, uh, I think this would be called South Sioux City, right? Because we're still in Iowa. We're gonna cross into South Dakota right away. What smells so good? Oh, 
that's me. I put on cologne today, just for you guys. Are you impressed? Turn right onto I-29 North. Absolutely, man. Yeah, I'd love to. I-29 North takes me home. We're 881 kilometers from home. That's about nine hours of solid driving, and there isn't much stops because it's just a beeline straight north of here. Like this road we're getting on here, I-29, literally takes us right into Winnipeg. Bigger wide. There was a hitchhiker sitting there. Hey, somebody tell me, is it legal to hitchhike in the States? You see it all the time in Canada. Hitchhikers everywhere. I don't know if it's legal to hitchhike on the interstate. Okay, here we go. Everybody buckle up. Dakota. Not much more exciting. I'm not saying it's not an exciting state, I'm just saying this particular area of the state isn't that very exciting. I've been driving in this straight line for hours. I think there's a curve up ahead. It's been a good day. I like these flat running days some days. I wouldn't want to do it all the time, but oh, it's a lot easier, you know? Don't got to worry about climbing hills or going too fast down the hill. You just set the cruise and give her. You just give her. That's all you got to do. Just keep it between the lines. That's all you got to do all day. You're having a good day, Diesel. You're having a good day. I'm having a good day. I'm having a really good day. We're almost home. We're in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Diesel's just doing his weasel business. Out here in the long grass, his favorite place. Enjoy it while you can, man. Winter's coming. I don't talk like that, man. I know. I don't know what he's sniffing around. He's going back and forth. I guess the tank's empty already. I guess we can go back to the truck. Oh, so I just got to stop in Pembina, North Dakota yet to pick up a parcel for my dad. Uh, a couple of parcels, actually. He ordered some motorcycle helmets for his motorbike. And he has them uh, at a parcel service. In the States, it's cheaper to send them to a parcel service, and then we pick it up on the way home. It's cheaper to do that than send it over the border into Canada, right? So people make their whole business around just being a parcel service. So. So apparently Didn't like his trailer anymore, so he decided to detach from it and then take up a second spot with his bobtail. Okay, so taking up one spot wasn't enough. He'd rather take up two spots. I understand. Sometimes one spot's just not enough. Sometimes you just need to take up two. Going back to the topic from this morning, make sure you're only taking up one spot. Oh well. All right, bud, you ready to go or what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's been a good long drive. We are in Pembina, North Dakota. Can you see the little water tower there? Pembina. 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 Uh, we gotta go inside and get Dad's parcel that he ordered his helmets. So he can ride a motorbike. Because Manitoba has a motorcycle helmet law. Let's go get him his helmets. He got one for him and one for my mom. Isn't that cute? They're gonna ride on the motorcycle together. Just like they're dating again. I think I got everything I need. 
Nice little old town. The trucks are allowed to park there. Interesting. The corner parcel pickup. Well, there it is. I guess they put them both in one box. That's nice, then you only have to pay for one box. It's five dollars per box, right? So it's five bucks to pick this up. Now, how am I gonna open the door holding the camera? Didn't think this one through, did we, Trucker Dan? Oh. oh, there we go. Oh, 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 door's gonna hit me in the butt. Oh. Didn't think this through very well, did we? Oh, oh, ow, ow, my foot. Oh, oh. whoo, here, Diesel. Oh. Hold that. Oh boy, it's a very big box, man. What you got there? Is that for me? No, Diesel, that's for... I guess that would be Grandma and Grandpa to you. <laughs> yeah, it's a very big box. I'm very interested in this thing. I wonder what's inside. Is it full of treats? Not really. I really want to open it. But it's not mine. And we shouldn't open what isn't ours, right? We will hand deliver it to Mother tomorrow. Dad is on his... uh way to British Columbia right now, I think. And then he's headed over back across in New Jersey or North Carolina, something like that. So he asked me to pick this up for him. Why not? Bike helmet, so him and mom can go riding like they used to. Next stop, Canada. Canada! Doesn't look very different, does it? It's because it's not. Not here anyway. <laughs> We're in Canada and I'm pumped. Good to be here, good to be home. Manitoba, Canada. Oh, the process of moving everything from there into there. It's one of the last times I've actually got to do this. Hey, Diesel, how you doing? Pretty soon we'll be able to take this whole truck right to my house. To our house, man. Isn't that going to be great? No more of this. Loading from here into here and stuff. Oh. Not that I'm complaining. It's not the hardest thing in the world to do, but... In winter time, it really sucks. I'm gonna take this food along. Cause this food is gonna be for you at your pet resort while I'm at Flogger Fair. He's gonna love his resort, man. It's the nicest one in Manitoba. Absolutely. All right, guys. But what is home, really? This technically isn't home anymore. Two weeks and I'm moving. And we're home. Anybody miss me? Honey, I'm home. She never answers. I know this video is coming up after the fact, but I hope you guys uh, kept up to date with my tweets because I'm gonna be all over Twitter and Facebook while I'm there. So, hope you guys kept up with all of that. And if you did make it out, I really hope you got to Come and say hi to me because I'd love to say hi to you if you're there. I'm just super excited about it, guys. Unlike all of this, <laughs> really not excited to move. But I am at the same time. I'm excited to have all of this stuff in my new house. I got my internet service provider coming to hook up internet the day after I move in. So we're set. I just won't have a cell signal. For my cell phones there for the first little while because i got to set up the tower on top of my house my dad's going to help me with that i think he has a tower we just got to set it up and put the cables it's we got to measure out the cables and do it just right it takes a little bit of math mathematics i don't know what i'm doing here why am i saluting mathematics uh dad's going to help me put that booster up on my house then i'll have cell service in my house and on my yard but for now i'm just happy that we're going to have internet installed right away and I'll have a landline phone, so it'll be good. I'll just forward my calls from my cell phone to my landline. It'll be good. Okay, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. There I go saluting again. I'm saluting too much. That means it's time to go to bed. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. 4 a.m. Central Time. Don't forget to go down below to the description box. There's a bunch of links there you should check out, even if you've been watching my videos for a while. I've also added links right at the top of the box there. 
to uh, videos, past videos of mine from like yesterday, a week ago, a month ago, and a whole year ago. You can find out what I've been up to, how I've changed, and how me and Diesel have grown. See you tomorrow.